In 2021, around the world, 57 million people suffered the effects of natural disasters, and 100,000 clashes and conflicts were fought. These frightening figures underscore how important it is to put in place a problem first aid system for the victims of these emergency situations. Thus, the World Health Organization highlighted the lack of health facilities in villages far from big cities. This project provides a cheap solution, thanks to which the people from these villages can be monitored in order to provide the first help and drugs. Our project uses all the advantages of the drone and connectivity supports and aims to ensure an efficient service of collection of biomedical data, rescue in particular help to the situation thanks to the video transmission in real time, delivery of medicines and basic necessities. In conditions of line failure due to the overload, it is necessary to have connectivity supports to ensure a timely intervention. In our meetings with Tim and Atonet, we found two solutions, the mobile vehicle and the backpack. The first one is a team mobile unit, which allows to extend the 5G network in a specific area and permits a better communication between all the components involved. While the Atonet backpack is a support which can be worn by the operator, favoring his movements and ensuring a continuous coverage. The 5G bubble we obtained will serve to driving the drones, transmission of the data and video streaming of the emergency situation. In this project, we also evaluated scenarios where it is not possible to carry an antenna like this. For those scenarios, we thought that the LoRaWAN infrastructure can be the best to collect the biomedical data. The aim is to build a bridge between the point-of-care device, the local server and the drone. The drone will carry the needs to the local place where finally the people can get all what they need. Remote healthcare ecosystem is a drone as a service. First function is a rescue for public administration and medical staff on the ground in an emergency situation. The second is delivery of medicines and basic necessities by drone. And third, image gallery and area mapping. In order to make our project compliant with the European regulation framework, we have been dealing with several legal issues, such as the subscription of a liability insurance, which is mandatory for drones, and the submission of a data protection impact assessment required by GDPR. Furthermore, we had to meet all the requirements laid down by ENAC, the competent authority in Italy for civil aviation. As per the title of our project, Remote Healthcare Ecosystem, we have also prototyped the project remotely. AI helps in the optimized trajectory planning and reducing the overhead for the drone operator. AI also plays an important role in understanding the gravity of the situation of patients similar to the red, green and yellow codes in Italian healthcare and delivering the medicines according to this priority. 5G plays a significant role in real-time training, edge computing and processing. For LoRaWAN use case, we can use offline training. 
Commercial implementations can be done by initially training the models in simulated uh, environments using machine learning use cases and later deploying it in real life scenarios.